What's up guys, Heat King here bringing you some uh, Resident Evil news regarding the Code Veronica remake. So, recently we got a post from a, from a leaker called Chris Marks who's been 50-50 so far. To be honest, he, has, he hasn't said anything to contradict a lot of the stuff he said. Uh, he seems like a legit guy. And uh, recently he talked about Resident Evil 9 and he's now also talking about Resident Evil Code Veronica remake and Resident Evil 5 happening. Now, he's pretty much said that apparently a Cold Veronica remake is in fact happening. Um, uh, so he's, he, you know, he made a post on June 18th and recent where he said that Capcom will also likely start working on Cold Veronica remake and possibly RE5 remake at some point in the future. Um, and when asked by a user, they asked will there be a major changes to the story environment in Cold Veronica remake, he said yes there would be. And I think that's about it. That's all he pretty much said regarding that. He didn't go into a lot of detail regarding this, unfortunately. However, funny enough, a, a, a day or two before this post, or uh, technically a day or two after this post, or before that maybe, I'm not too sure what the date for this is, there was a supposed leak on Reddit on the gaming leaks and rumors um, posted by a sad mod. Sad mod? Okay, that's the user's name. And it is a rumor, it is to be taken with a rumor, but apparently this is a leak for Resident Evil Cold Veronica Remake. Now, I don't know how legit this is because this is very detailed, and when it's detailed, I tend to think it's BS. But, I do like these kind of posts, right? It gives you, it's nice to read, it's nice to have fun with, and it's nice to explore what Resident Evil Cold Veronica could technically end up being. Plus, if it ends up being legit, then it's like, oh wow, well, okay, this was right. But yeah, let's go through this, let's read through this. Resident Evil Code. Oh, before I begin, remember to like and subscribe, guys. I nearly forgot about that. Mm, mm. See, it's early morning and I'm tired. Technically, it's 12:15 at the moment, so we're, we're, we're afternoon now. But yeah, okay, let's begin. All right here we go. You see my face? Let me let me put it this way. Okay, Co Resident Evil Code Veronica is being developed since mid 2021 by M2 in parallel with RE4 and RE9. It'll be the one that will receive the most reimagination treatment. Interesting. Okay, so M2 is working on it. Um, again, the rumors are that M2, or it was reported that M2 got booted off Resident Evil 4 Remake and Capcom Division 1 took over. And since then, they've been working on separate ways. But, you know, if, if, if Capcom Division 1 is working on Resident Evil 9, what else is M2 working on? I, I would imagine they would be given given Cold Veronica. I honestly think that would be the case because Capcom Division 1 would technically want to work on Resident Evil 5 Remake. So, I I do believe that M2 would be responsible for this, which is a bit of a shame because, plus the fact that saying it's the most reimagination, we already got the most reimagination treatment in Resident Evil 3 Remake and it was terrible. Okay? I didn't like a lot of the changes there. They cut too much. So, the idea that Cold Veronica is also going to get the similar treatment is actually very concerning. Because you'd think that Capcom would not let M2 do that again. Plus, it doesn't make any sense because Cap M2 apparently wanted to do a fateful remake of Resident Evil 4 before they got booted off. And that got reimagined anyway. So, why would they want to continue this? Unless unless Capcom's like, guys, it's cool. Reimagine it. We don't care about the reviews. We don't care about what the fans think. Do, do, do what you want to do. And I feel like that's kind of wrong if that's the case. Like... That's 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 going that's going backwards instead of forwards. The game is planned to be revealed in 2024 and released in 2025. So, see, this was, my original assumptions were that we would get the gold edition for Resident Evil 4 in 2024 with with the eight separate ways, and in 2025 would be Resident Evil 9, and in 2026 would be the remake for Resident Evil 1, and then, and then some point, sometime between in 2027 or 2028 we would get Corona and Resident Evil 5, respectfully. They're saying no, that, re that it's going to be revealed in 2024 and come out in 2025. So we get Resident Evil 9 in 2024 and then Veronica in 2025? I don't know how to believe that. I still think we're going to get a Resident Evil 1 remake again, like in the RE engine. I really think we're going to get that. But again, if it is legit, we will find out by the end of this year, right? So, you know. Capcom uh, recent, recent researches. Okay, Capcom recent research researches has nothing to do with Coronica since it is already in development for about two years. So uh, the surveys were nothing. Okay, yeah, I can actually kind of believe that. Like, uh, like I do think they uh, they have games in development in advance, 
Um, the duration will be considerably higher in comparison to the original, about 14 to 15 hours. Um, we hiring, uh, I mean, to be fair, Cold Veronica is a long game depending on how you play it. You could screw up and you would have to start all over again, but I think for the most part it is a 10 hour game. And, it, it, you know, the remake being 14, 15 hours, yeah, I don't really care about, I mean, I do care about length. I do want it to be about the same length as the original, but uh, adding a bit more, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't, it certainly doesn't hurt. Uh, the intro will be extended. This guy can't write English for shit. I'm sorry, like, he's, like, this, whoever wrote this is clearly rushing through this or is making up stuff. Uh, the intro will be exta expand expanded. Claire be, before, uh, featuring Claire before invading the Umbrella base. Some areas will be redesigned almost beyond recognition. What's the point then, right? Like, uh, that was one of the biggest problems with Resident Evil 3 Remake, that it was unrecognizable. The game will feature new areas, obviously. I mean, that would make sense. This game is being developed in RE Engine, obviously, being very similar to its predecessors in terms of gameplay and graphics, obviously. Uh, tell us something we don't know. The intro will be expanded again. We'll feature Claire, apartment researchers. This guy can't write English, Jesus. Claire invading the base and also some narrations retolding, retolding, retelling some events of previous games. So like Ori 2, Ori, sorry, Ori 4 remakes intro with Leon, so we're going to get something similar with Claire. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I would imagine that would actually happen. Uh, Rodrigo will free Claire and return back items that were confiscated. Yeah, okay. Like, sort of like the original. Um, Claire's apartment invading the base, like, that would be playable. It depends, I guess, if they're going for an action route, but it sounds BS. Moving on. Rodrigo will free Claire and return items. Okay, I just read that part. Rodrigo will also give the player side quests, giving items in return if you accomplish them. This part I could believe. I mean, uh, uh, since, Ori, since Ori 4 Remake kind of went heavy on the side missions, uh, I was curious how they would continue that. And I, I feel like that would make sense. Like, I, I kind of felt like, yeah, if... if, if if that, if that character is still in there, it would make sense for him to sort of give you little tasks that you can do besides get me medicine and you get the lie. Like maybe there would be more focus on other stuff as well. So I could see that part being legit. Steve will no longer be a minor, but an 18 years old adult. His role will be largely expanded as he will be playable in more sections and also will follow Claire during some parts, allowing the player to reach areas previously unreachable. Wasn't Steve always 18? He was what, 17 at best? I mean, any younger, it would be kind of weird, wouldn't it? Like, it doesn't make sense for him to be that young. Claire's 18, and I always assumed Steve was, was well, yeah, 17, 18 years old as well. So, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Like, does it? Like, uh, a, 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 Jesus Christ, English. A anxiety bar will be added to Claire and Steve, along with a new type of herb with orange color that will serve to reduce anxiety levels. High levels of anxiety will result in several drawbacks like hallucinations and this distorted vision. This part I feel like is BS. I mean, on one hand, the hallucination mechanic is something from Resident Evil 5 that was never implemented, unfortunately. And it, it, I mean, on one hand, I can see Capcom bringing back certain ideas, but an anxiety bar, why? Because I would, I mean, I get it. They're trying to emphasize maybe on Claire's PTSA, but they, they didn't do anything with Jill's. And I don't see why they would do it with Claire now. Like, it makes no sense. So, I, I can see this being BS. Alfred would no, will not cross-dress Alex, as Alexia anymore. Instead, she will be a clone of the true Alexia. Uh, she will be... What is? What the hell does that mean? Alfred will... So, I, uh, one of the things I, I am, I'm thinking would get caught if there is a remake of Cold Veronica would be Alfred cross-dressing. But the thing is, he's not a cross-dresser. Okay, Alfred goes so insane that in missing his sister that he ends up cross-dressing as her and he ends up developing a split personality like so in a way it is Alexia and it's not and it's not Alfred pretending pretending to be her like he's literally fragilely damaged like he develops that split personality and I feel like that's one of the best one of the better things about the game because it sort of emphasizes how devoted and how much uh, Alfred loves his sister to the point that he missed her that he developed this complex this this uh uh, disability like uh, so yeah c c it would be a shame to see that cut plus I feel like they could easily explain it away by having they do like a psychic link uh, this part I don't get though she will be a clone of the true Alexia Al Al Alfred and Alexia were clones of Veronica that the original game emphasized that this is how I know this is starting to sound like BS because this guy clearly never played the original game if he had if he had he would have known that was the case 
What's there about being true? There was no Alexia originally. It was it was a Veronica. Like uh, the tyrant will be a stalker during the game, similar to Mr. Rex and Ari too. I could see that happening. I mean, our, 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 our Cold Veronica is a pretty big game, and I could see them doing it where like you know you have this Mr. Rex style tyrant chasing you. I could see that happening. Wesker will be more present in the game, leaving notes during the gameplay and dialoguing and cutscenes with the siblings. I could see Wesker getting a bigger role to, to emphasize and develop his character more and setting up a Resident Evil 5 remake. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much the gist of this leak. Uh, a lot of a lot of it sounds BS to be honest. Uh, some of the stuff I could see happening, like adding the Tyrant as a stalker, uh, Wesker having more of a role, and and Rodrigo, you know, giving Claire more things to do. But other than that, like, this sounds like complete BS, like, and we'll know if it's legit if the game does get teased in 2024, but I'm, I'm calling BS on this. I'm calling big major BS on this, but again, it's nice and fun to read about. Anyway, that's the video, guys. Hope you liked it. Uh, as always, remember to like and subscribe, and yeah, I'm looking forward to, to the rest of 2024 and see what news we do get regarding Resident Evil. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we do get a Cold Veronica remake, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see, guys. We'll have to wait and see. Take care and bye.